Right, um, let's change tack by, you know, looking at this next um, issue where the new year, really, 2024 came with a slogan, no grief for anybody. And this has been trending on social media. Many Nigerians believe that the slang is about staying true to one's belief and not succumbing to the influence of others. But the police have expressed strong disapproval of the popular slang. The police, through his um, spokesperson, Olumu Iwadejobi, said they have received intelligence reports suggesting that the slogan has the potential to cause anarchy in the country. He warned that the police could clamp down on people using the slang. Let's hear from the force police, uh, force public relations officer. And let me say again, on this note, that the new slogan for 2023-24 for our young ones is no degree for anybody. Uh, we have been informed from our intelligence that this slogan is coming from a revolutionary sector that may likely cause problem across the country. No degree for anybody is being seen as just a normal talk. But in security business, in security community, we have seen it as a very, very dangerous slogan that can trigger crisis. Don't forget, in as much as you are entitled to enjoy your fundamental human rights, no fundamental human right is absolute. Don't agree for anybody will not work when security operatives want to apprehend you for committing an offense. Once you have committed an offense, security operatives will come, apprehend you, and cause you to face the wrath of the law. Don't say no agree for everybody. You don't go work when you commit offense. I've seen several advertisements, you know, uh, several advertisements or advertisement back in the day, which would say, we know go agree, oh, we know go agree. You mention the name of the product, and then I'll say, we know go agree. And then we know that the word, no grief for anybody, you know, it just started, you know, just like the maxim, I mean, just like um, slogan on, on the social media. You know how people, you know, run amok with such. Yeah. But what, is in, what's, what do you think is in the mind of the false PR? Well, um... Sometime last year and um, the year before, we saw a kind of build up, especially towards the general election, where that tended towards anarchy, where people were saying they would, whatever the outcome of the election, if their candidate doesn't win, mm -hmm. there's going to be a problem. Somehow, we managed that. Because if you recollect the year before, there was a build up by some young people who had set a date for massive protest last year. But we succeeded with that, and then we moved on as a country. That election is gone. All the actors have said, see, it's over now. But those who even miscalculated are already retracing their steps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, some, are, some, are, some, are, some are doing that. So now, for me, I see this as a build up on what failed the last two times, which is coming after the massive riot that some claimed, claimed several lives at um, Lekki Gate without evidence, no proof. So I can feel what um, the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Adijob, is saying. We all know what it's, what happened in, in the era of the um, protest against the police. Mm. And I can't imagine that happening again in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because if you are saying to me that no grief for anybody means whether you are right or wrong, challenging a policeman or a, or a soldier with gun arbitrarily because I don't want grief for anybody, then you are, look, you are just looking for yeah, trouble. You, you won't want to look at a soldier who is, um, you know, a gun with so soldier, fierce look, fiercely course. looking soldier, mm -hmm. and say you're not, you're not going to go grief. But, but Asuko, I think mm -hmm. it is this, I think there is, there the, the are only two, always two sides to a coin, mm -hmm. a coin rather. Uh, the, the lady that, you know, got showered with different gifts and all of that, who said that uh, a husband, newly married, newly wedded husband, you know, went to the office and then 
uh, a lady cooked for, for, yeah. for I mean, a lady brought, brought in food <laughs> and then brought extra spoon. Mm. And that's when she started waking up. And now you see how she no grief for, for <laughs> So could, could, could no grief for anybody be something that you can, you know, do to your own advantage rather than being on yeah. the other side of, well, you know, anarchy? Well, it looks, you, you look at it from the perspective of the police. If they are saying that they are getting the intelligence report, that some people are trying to gather to cause anarchy, then we should all be worried. Yeah. So it means that even them, they are also being proactive and saying the way that this we no go agree um, slogan kind is going yeah. is gradually snowballing into um, what Trump actually did yeah. during the January yeah. 6th yeah, you know, at the Capitol, on the Capitol, you know, where they were even saying boom, boom, and nobody knew what boom, boom meant. <laughs> And where he sometimes will say, okay, we're, they, they, it, there were so many slogans, so many um, phrases right. that, that uh, he used back then, including the, the group. We didn't even know until a group was on Twitter. The Queen and non um, um, followers mm -hmm. were there on Twitter. Mm -hmm. The patrons were there on, on Twitter. They were doing, using these the phrases. Proud, the Proud Boys. Yes, and they were pushing it. And it became something that pushed so many people as far as California and everywhere, they are moving to, the, to Washington to go and protest. And eventually, you saw what happened there, you know. So if the police is now looking at it from that holistic view and saying this no gray slogan is, is, is a set of people that are bringing it out and then it's going to cause problem, then we have, even parents must also stop, start telling their children, hey, Calm down with that, you know, go green. You know, that was how they even started with all eyes on judiciary. Mm -hmm. All eyes on. Even judiary became afraid. Some of our judges were afraid. That was started, why even they when they, 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 are, they started bringing up pictures of even the chief justice, who, whether he went to London or he was at home, nobody knew and started looking for even, pictures even, of his family. Children, yeah. You family understand? Members. Because they are saying all eyes on the judiciary. So we need to be careful with words that will just jeopardize the unity of the country. Mm. And so I think that is where the police is going to. They are saying that they've got, gotten intelligence reports that this thing is, is not going to all go well for us. So we need to tone down, uh, in quote, decibel, as we use it now in mm -hmm. the office, in yeah. the newsroom, yeah. you know, so that we don't go and fall into the hands of anarchists who are out there. Whether you like or you don't like, there are some people who still don't believe that this election was free and fair, mm -hmm. just like, you know, the man in the U.S., you know? That's right. So you understand? So if the police has given us that tip-off, we in the House, and as well as the media, we must also see how we can help the police in that aspect. Talking about the media, there is this, uh, everyone is now a publisher, uh, referring to the social media, where you see anyone just grabs easier mm -hmm. devices and then uh, puts anything on on online and for people to read and some people even take it for gospel as gospel yeah. uh what do you think the government needs to do in this regard because when people go on social media because that's where they perpetrate all of this so how should we begin to be socially responsible in the way we use all of these you know communication devices yeah i completely agree with you on that um the the, the setup in nigeria now shows that we have enough laws to deal with such mm -hmm. situation, but we are not applying it. Some weeks back, as we began the, no, not even weeks, about some days back, yeah, as we began the year, yeah. the, the DSS came and said, see, we can see a trend, but we appeal that we should make this year a good one. So it shows that something is building, but like I've always said to people, especially where we have a gathering where we are talking journalism. Those of us who are sure-footed in journalism, we need to do a lot more in terms of putting ourselves out there with the correct information. You might not be an online publisher, but all the social media platforms where you operate, put the truth out there. A lot of times what I see is that the noise from those who knowingly do these things. Because as we speak now, there are some people, the only time that they get rich is when there is anarchy. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of money from um, chaos. Yeah, crisis. 
So, for those of us who are solid, who are grounded in the media, we need to start putting out information so that people can understand the issues. What others do is just to look at the issues on the surface. They don't explain to people what the foundation. Yeah, the they are only saying the yeah. building on top. Because when you mention certain issues, people get excited, but they don't know the yeah. background to it. Until when you understand the background to an issue, it is dangerous to comment on it. So for those of us who have information, we have to stay on that platform. The former president of the Nigeria Institute of Public Relations, about three, four, five years ago, he did something. Something happened in Zaria, and there was a massive buildup for people to go rioting. They were already, and what he did was, to go on Facebook, both English, I'm talking of uh, um, Alaji Zubair, the former NIP, NIPR president, mm. to use both AUSA and English to put some things on Facebook. And then they started spreading it. Mm -hmm. That was how the whole thing died down. Because the person who put out the initial information wanted chaos and just threw it bam. But the man explained it. This is the build up. And the moment it was read, Everybody went home happy. But that's one, that's one in a million. Sometimes. Yes, that's one in a million. What, what, what we want to hear, what m most Nigerian, yeah. Nigerians hear, is the fake news. Mm -hmm. And they, they, run, they run home with it. They yes. just run to the market with it. Uh, so in the era of misinformation, fake news, etc., etc., even the media is complicit, especially when you listen to, you listen to some radio uh, station where you have independent producers. Mm -hmm. They would just use this thing as, because it's the slang. Mm -hmm. And that is what they would say. So... What exactly do you think you know, can be done to mitigate the, um, the potential impact in, in the board? Well, well, well just, you said something about you know, people, somebody staying in the newsroom. And, you know, the, the thing is, most of the journalists that we have, too, they are not even grounded. Yeah. They don't read. Okay? And even if they read, do they even understand? That's another thing. I, for one, I know if I need to put any information out there, That's I'll right. have to look for, oh, go through the parameters, please, yeah. um, can you help me look at this? It's, it doesn't make me a lesser person, mm. but just for me, because my, my name is going to be involved in it. So if you're in the newsroom or you are in the radio station, anything you are saying out there, is, your name is, is involved. So why not just create time for you to start reading and making sure that the information you are passing is accurate. Because if you go back to this, I don't agree matter. <laughs> it is, you are saying it's Gen Z's. Mm. We are all saying Gen Z's. But you know, even the grandpas and grandmas, they also started falling in line too with it. You know? Because if they don't, if, uh, if the Gen Z's don't say it, the grandpas and grandmas will not. But uh, my, my fear is... That's right. Thank God that the police is just taking these measures. Mm. And it's a, very, it's a very good And so move. the media must also see how they can bring it down. That's right. I know we want to create content, we want to make money from YouTube and all mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. but we must also look at the unity of the country. That's very, very, very key. And it's uh, kudos to uh, Olumuwa Dejabi for quickly, you know, talking about this thing because we don't know where it might really take exactly. us. Exactly.